everybody, it's Meg. That's too big. <laughs> so my cross legged. No, I'm not. <laughs> Hello, everybody, welcome back. It's Meg, and for this week's video, I decided to do a Primark haul. There is some other bits, but it's mainly Primark because that's the only place I can generally afford to shop. And I can't even afford to shop there. Showing you things I've bought over the last few weeks. You wearing? It is a jumper from New Look. It has these, you can see, but it has these embroidered roses on it and it's sort of like this high neck and it tell you what guys, it is the softest material ever. I haven't actually washed it yet because I'm scared that I'm going to make it unsoft. It's going to go, hmm, it's no longer going to be soft if I wash it um, because I haven't got my money with me so I'd probably ruin it. But yeah, it's just so oversized as you can see, it's really cosy and I needed some winter jumpers because I realised that I only own two. Um, and it's really cold at the moment, so yeah, I needed some more. Next up is a candle. Um, I was drawn to it initially because of the colour. It's actually got this in Boots and it's by Ted Baker. Yeah, so I, I'm quite picky about the candles that I like just because I'm not really really one of those people that's into really really sweet smells. This honest to god just smells like a really really lovely smelling man. It smells like you know like Hollister or one of those sort of stores where they have that kind of incense burning in like throughout the store. This is what this smells like. It's maybe I think £8 which may seem quite pricey for a candle but I mean because it's Ted Baker I feel like it will burn for a really long time. I don't mind spending a bit more money on a candle. Now, then I wouldn't be a makeup enthusiast if this haul did not include some sort of makeup. And I First is this stippling brush, simple as I just wanted one because I see a lot of people on YouTube using them for like blush because I do find a lot of the time the brushes that I use for blush kind of pick up so much product that I put it on my face and I just have like a blob of blush um, so I wanted one of these because it doesn't really seem to pick up as much product and so far so good it looks like a real Techniques brush but it isn't um, it's just from TK Maxx I think it costs like £4 um, and yeah I really like it and then another thing which I have been waiting for so long to come into boots is makeup obsession um, I don't know if you've heard of them, they've gone around YouTube a little bit. Um, it's basically just a really, really affordable makeup brand where they sell sort of eyeshadows, contour, blush, uh, highlights um, in so many different colours and basically what you do is you go into Boots and then you can buy a palette like I did. There's loads of different colours, this one's a bit dirty and it's got my name on it. Um, and then you basically, it's empty and you fill it. So I've only bought three at the moment. Um, but this is an eyeshadow, contour shade and a highlight. It's just two pound. Like, that's crazy. Like, And they work really well. That's the main thing I want to say. Is like, obviously, people will be quite sceptical that they maybe don't work so well just because they are cheap. But trust me, they're amazing. The palette or the Z palette style sort of thing is six pound. And I mean, the mirror is huge. So yeah, definitely check out your boots to see if they have these because they're great. And then the other brush I got from Primark is just this little contour brush. My friends rightly pointed out that it does kind of look like they've just cut two brushes in half and stuck them together. But I mean, I like it. It's cute. So it's gold, which annoyingly drives me to it every time. And then the last thing that I got that wasn't from Primark, I think. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Are these shoes? Oh my god. They are from Topshop and they are just the most beautiful shoes ever. As you can see, they're just black and then they've got like embroidery, if you can tell. I'm kind of into embroidery. And these, and I just couldn't say no. I think they'd be great for a Christmas party. Um, just because like, if you wear all black or something like that and then just have these as a pop of colour. They're really comfy as well. Everything about them is amazing. Oh, I lied. I lied. There's two more things out from H&M. H&M? Not from Primark. Where the frick is the thing? Well, I do show you. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so the next thing, I haven't taken the tag off yet, because <laughs> I haven't worn it, but can't wait to wear it. And it is this top, also from Topshop, and I think this would go so well with the shoes I just showed. And it's just a plain black cami, but if you can see, it's got like this lace part on it, which is kind of see-through. Um, and I was a little bit unsure of it, because you know, not your, your boobies to be showing. But actually, with a strap's bra, like a nude one, uh, it looks really, really nice. It, personally, I think that's great. Like, you could dress this up or dress it down. Um, you could like wear a jumper over it and just have a little bit of lace poking through, or obviously you could wear it on a night out. I just thought it was really nice, and yeah, I had to buy it. And this is the last thing that's not from Primark, and it's also inside out because I don't keep wearing it. And this is going along that theme of jumpers I was talking about, and it is just this green fisherman style jumper um, from H&M, I believe. Yeah, and this is in a small, so nice, it's such a lovely colour, like green is one of my favourite colours, um, especially in clothing, and I just thought this was a very Christmassy colour as well, um, but it was also, I think, only about £8, um, and I had it in so many colours, but this one's one I took fancy, and yeah, I love it. Primark. And sticking along the jumper theme, seeing as I just showed that one, I have got this jumper. Why can't I put clothes properly? It is this maroon. It's basically the same as the H&M one, but maroon. Um, but it has a kind of a slightly different neck. It's more of a neck like this one, like it comes up further. And it is just cable knit, as like the other one. Um, this was ten pound, which I mean for Primark is actually pretty decent especially for a jumper like it's really really thick i think it's really warm like i wore this the other day um and didn't have to wear anything underneath and just kind of wore a leather jacket and it was warm enough so if you're looking for something like the h&m don't have a h&m or if you are just kind of partial to a bit of primark then definitely check this out oh no my bag split also i don't know why i've got such a big bag because i don't buy all this Jesus, my tinsel just fell down and that just scared me. The last kind of jumpery thing I got is this white one, or like oatmeal colour. Um, I really liked it because it was £6 to start with, which is really cheap, and it's oversized, longer at the back, shorter at the front, um, and I'm really not the one sort of person to wear leggings, I'm much more into jeans, but I really like that sort of trend of wearing a shirt with like one of these oversized jumpers on t top with leggings and boots and a big chunky scarf like you see on all the like, Tumblr posts um, and so I picked this up just because I thought I'd rather go cheap and try it and obviously if I didn't like it then I haven't invested a lot of money into it but I've actually ended up loving this jumper anyway um, and I wear it quite a lot just like, around the house lazing around cook. and then going with that outfit I bought this shirt and it's sorry it's wrinkled because i've worn it a lot um it is this gray sort of shirt again oversized long at the back short at the front and with leggings and boots if it's colder than that on top but even if so just by itself i just think it looks a lot more expensive than it is so yeah and that was i think eight pound now I'm trying to be a little bit more adventurous with my clothing options because I tend to just stick to wearing jeans and like little tops or jumpers um, and I never really ventured into like skirts or like dresses or anything like that um, but I really want to because like the first thing I picked up was this A-line tartan skirt which looks like so it looks way more expensive than Primark like this was £10 um, it fits really nicely because sometimes I find that these are too long like because I'm only five foot like three so a lot of these mini skirts aren't actually mini and they just make me look like a dwarf whereas this one did not it fits really lovely I think with a little like white turtleneck top and I if you have like knee-high boots you look very clueless um, and I just yeah I really like that and I have worn that quite a lot although you do have to be careful what you wear it with because I did also look like a schoolgirl 
Then this is probably one of my favourite things that I picked up, which is strange because it's so like out of my comfort zone. And it is this grey pinafore dress. And it just has a vertical stripes going down and this little pocket. Um, and it's actually a sort of cottony material and it's really thick. Uh, I saw this on the hanger and like I say, it's so un me, but there was just something about it I was like, I just want to try it on. And I'm so glad I did. The last skirt that I picked up, I mainly picked up because it is velvet. And for those of you who know me will know that I absolutely adore anything velvet. It's midi black crushed velvet skirt. It has a slit on the side so obviously you can actually walk in it and I just think this is so nice. You can wear it with like a bodysuit or something and wear it to the club if that's what you fancy. And again I just think this is the sort of thing you could find like in Topshop or something like that and they would charge you a lot more um, when you can just get it in Primark. Sticking along the velvet theme, black velvet to be specific. I bought this because I have a work Christmas meal coming up and I just thought this would be perfect and it's essentially like the same sort of thing as that. It's black velvet, turtleneck, it's got slightly cropped sleeves, bodycon dress. Um, it's midi so it comes just below the knees which I just think is a really flattering length even for shorter people like myself. And um, it was £10, fits really really nice, it, it fits in all the right places, it's black so it's slimming. Um, and yeah, I just really liked it. Got this pyjama top. I'm really into tartan at the moment, I didn't even notice. This tartan bed shirt. It's really lovely length, it covers your butt. Um, and it's really, really soft. Uh, I don't know what it's made of, but I really like it. And there's just like little details to it, like this little sort of trimming along the pocket and also down the middle that I just think is really really nice, it's great colours, very wintry um, and yeah I just think that's really nice. And then just bought some fluffy socks because you can't go into Primark without picking up their fluffy socks. Everything in Primark is just so, I don't understand how they do it, like I admit there is some stuff in there that I do think, mm, 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 I admit, mm. but most of the stuff I'm like wow, just wow. Really long thick scarf and that's really, really nice. It's reversible, so you can either wear it grey or black. Uh, this obviously, because it's monochrome, is going to go with everything. It's really, really long, really six pound. And I don't know, like the quality just feels really nice. That was good. And then the last accessory things I bought are these packs of chokers. Now there is this one. I have to apologise. I've just kind of just put them back on now. But there's this lighter pair which just has this sort of peachy coloured one, this grey one and then this thicker baby pink one and then I got a pack which has a thick black one, a maroon one which I love and also there's a thin black one but I've taken it off because I've worn it. Six cost me three pound and I, I know for a fact you can buy a single one of these in Topshop for a good like six or eight pound so I mean you're getting double the amount for half the price and I just think they're great. So if you do see them in your room, definitely pick them up. And the final thing that I got is this wrapping paper. And it has got unicorns all over it. Me and my friend were shopping and she saw this. And I know it's technically not very Christmassy, but this is definitely what my Christmas presents are gonna be getting wrapped in. And I kinda just wanna like stick it on my wall as wallpaper. Yeah, that is everything I got from shopping. Uh, if you did like them, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you enjoy seeing my face and would like to see more videos. That would mean the world to me. Um, I am going to be posting quite a few in the next few days just because I sort of have a lot filmed and I mean why not just put them up um, because I do also do these makeup videos because I'm hoping to go study and they really help as sort of like an online portfolio. So yeah, please do check those out when I upload them, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>